In the previous section, we simply discussed what PhoneGap is and what are the benefits of using PhoneGap for mobile application developments. Nothing's perfect. Although PhoneGap can cover over 90% of mobile application requirements, it also has its limitations. This section will give you a full understanding of PhoneGap so that you can decide whether PhoneGap is the solution for your business. First, native apps always feel like native apps since they have native UI components while a PhoneGap app is simply a web page which has a big distance from the native UI in terms of look and feel. Fortunately, CSS3 opens the door to this fancy UI. Look at the UI components using CSS3. You can't tell if they're not native. Also, most mobile web application frameworks provide various UI themes. PhoneGap app UI is no worse than a native app. Aside from the UI, PhoneGap currently says no to hardcore 3D applications. If you want to develop a 3D game, then PhoneGap is not a good choice. This results in some amounts of debugging work on specific devices after developments. For example, CSS scrolling is only supported after 2.3 for Android and 5.0 for iOS. This video course will cover most of the gaps for your developments. If you have ever written web pages, PhoneGap is your dream platform to develop mobile applications. But the development of PhoneGap apps is not fully equal to that of web pages and web applications. Firstly, PhoneGap apps are stored locally on the device, while web pages and web applications are hosted on a web server usually. This means there's nearly no latency to load up stored web pages and assets for PhoneGap applications. Besides, PhoneGap apps can run offline. Internet connection is only an option for PhoneGap apps like native apps. Secondly, PhoneGap apps can access device capabilities through JavaScript interfaces, like the accelerometer, camera, compass, etc. In this course, we're going to cover the following contents. PhoneGap app development process will include how to install PhoneGap and develop and publish your app. Development preparation contains a tutorial of tools that will help you in app development. It will also introduce some fancy CSS and cool HTML skills. A good practice for JavaScript code is more important than ever. Also, introduce some helpful application frameworks. And, how to import PhoneGap plugins to make your app more powerful. And, how to connect your app to remote servers. And finally, I will demonstrate a complete example. In this section, we covered some limitations of PhoneGap and how this course is going to help with your development. Now, you should have a full picture of PhoneGap and should be able to decide whether a mobile application can be written in PhoneGap or not. Please take a look at the related links which are very useful for your learning. In the next chapter, we will install PhoneGap and start to use it.